Hello, Advanced Hydrogen here. Uh, been a long time since I've been making videos. I'm kind of tired, so bear with me. I've been working on a cell off and on since last night. Um, this is a dry cell, 6x6, six six, standard dry cell, except you notice there's something a little bit different, a little bit of something added on here. You can shot it at. There's actually one on each side. Okay. I'll tell you what those are in a minute. Uh, what I want you to see is this. Look at the, the gas output coming out of the cell. I'm trying to block the light a little bit. See that? So that's dry, dry as a bone. Back up so we can focus. There we go. Look at that. Okay, that's way past a cigarette idling. That's the output of the cell. Okay. Neat, huh? And that, uh, very, very, very flammable. The report I'm getting from lighting this is extremely loud. Um, I would compare it to firecrackers. Um, it's like you light it after a little while and your ears are ring. Um, look at the amount of gas collecting in those bubbles. See it? You can hear it too, I think. Okay. Um, the temperature of the cell, in case somebody's wondering, is 104 degrees. And yeah, I don't know. it's kind of warm, not too bad. So I'm getting that kind of output at 104 degrees. 13 amps. That's giving me 13 volts. Like I said, I'm tired, sorry. That's 13 volts at. 19 amps. Okay. Um, turn my meter back on. What I've got here is I have magnetic resonance modules. These are a special type of module that has um, stacked magnets stacked in a certain way, certain type of magnets. I'll let you know later because this is fixed to be obsolete. I've got another cell I'm working on. I'll show you it when I get it going. Uh, what's happening is, is that uh, the quality of the gas coming out of this thing in a lower amperage is phenomenal. Like I said, I, I'm not even going to light the bubbles for a demo on this thing. It just, the, the, it's starting to scare me when I'm lighting it, okay? I'm not kidding. Um, when I'm lighting it, it's like sometimes it sounds like a 22 going off in my shop. Some, most of the time it sounds like firecrackers. Um, this is a uh, the controller that runs these MR modules, and this is not a PWM. And when I get my next one going, I'll let you know what this is. But uh, here's the frequency pattern coming out of that thing, and it is getting some um, what's called harmonic feedback out of the modules. And so I want that to happen. And so right now I'm at a very uh, interesting state with the uh, frequencies and the magnets. It's making for a very entertaining um, waveform. Pretty cool, huh? And there you go. Uh, without getting into um, a lot of detail, um, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I do have another cell in the works. Um, I'll just, when I get it built and I get it going and I'm pretty stable on it, I'll give you more details about this. But here we are at uh, 13 volts, 19 amps, um, not even a very warm cell at all. Looking at yeah, 108 degrees. That says 112. I can't believe that. Yeah. I don't know. Say it 112. Doesn't feel like when I'm touching it. Okay, we'll call it 112. 112 degrees. But uh, I mean, actually, when I take a shower, my water is hotter than this. So something's wrong. And uh, I'm getting this kind of output. Pretty cool, huh? With a rather spooky, otherworldly dry gas coming out of that. Isn't that neat? Kind of wild, huh? All right, this is just give you kind of a hint of what's going on. I haven't been on vacation. I've just been busy. Advanced Hydrogen, you guys have a good day.